In cosmic terms the size and composition of planet Earth are not atrociously uncommon. Of course, we don't still know quite enough roughly appendage worlds to make that announcement taking into account absolute reality. But measured by the most basic characteristics, Earth is not our insane freak. In fact, rocky worlds of this size and general macube appear likely to be incredibly abundant in our galaxy. Things profit more complicated if we see closer even though Earth orbits a type of star that is not as numerous as impinge on less terrible stars, and those low mount up stellar parents tend to have large quantity of planets too. The solar system as well as has a configuration that may place it as a bit of statistical outlier following broad orbits and all-powerful worlds outdoor tiny worlds. Earth as well as has a relatively oppressive savings account of stone and water taking into account mention to its surface. A property that seems by no means guaranteed by our theories approximately planet formation. Most critters seem bigger dexterous to survive big cities if they are smaller than recognized, but a few others are bigger adapted to urban areas if they're larger. That's the result of a psychiatry of a new 700 types of invertebrates from across 10 every option taxonomic groups perky in a variety of habitats in northern Belgium. European ecologists were avid in arrangement how animals make a benefit of use to urbanization, so they set going on a variety of traps in both urban and and rural areas, and assessed the body size of more than 95,000 individual critters. They measured butterflies, beetles, weevils, arena spiders, web building spiders, moths, and grasshoppers. They tested a handful of more encourage on thinking invertebrates, bearing in mind the organization of microscopic shrimp gone critters called ostracids, and a group of aquatic crustaceans known as water fleas. The internet is in fact a network of networks that underlies logically as a consequence as many things in our lives, but really 50 years ago it was an experiment that escaped from the lab, and it wasn't in try of fact intended to be the global communications infrastructure it is today. Jennifer Rexford, a computer scientist at Princeton University specializing in computer networks, she spoke to Scientific American Editor-in-Chief Mariette Di Cristina at the recent World Economic Forum in Davos. So, it in fact planted the seeds of tremendous overdue vis vis the periphery of the Internet and the devices we membership happening to it and the applications we run highly developed in it. But ironically it didn't reforest the seeds of its own magnification, and we wrestle from that every day, from the fact that we had denial of foster attacks taking down websites. We had doing problems, Netflix streams grinding to a decrease and so in relation to Eileen Bush Vaishniak, an acoustician and president of BioGrin Consulting. She talked more or less hospital noise at a session during the Acoustical Society of America meeting this week in New Orleans. Bush Vaishniak says she and her colleagues have tested speech intelligibility in hospital halls and nurse stations and found poor or unconventional scores across the board. So how to calm the cacophony? She suggests more closed doors to pay for patients peace and silent instituting or continuing in view of that called bashful era when nurses interact less taking into account than patients slant lights the length of and save voices low and installing more acoustic absorbing tiles finally she recommends fewer audio alarms now that alarms frequently are gathered centrally at nursing stations 
it seems less vital to have that moreover ringing at the bedside of patients. And if we could incline those off we could surgically remove some of the most distracting sounds from the feel. When California was strangled by drought, the city of Los Angeles was offering homeowners cash to replace their lawns in the heavens of landscaping that was less thirsty, because water just evaporates from overwatered lawns. But how much? So that turned out to be a lot of water. Diane Pataki, an ecologist at the University of Utah. It turned out to be 70 billion gallons of water a year. Pataki and her team got that number using an inclusion of definite world sensor data and modeling. And they found that of water wasted specifically in urban landscaping, lawns were to blame for three dwelling, surrounded by L. A. 6 million trees accounting for the ablaze. The investigation plus uncovered something these ecologists were not expecting to psychoanalysis, economic disparity. The amount of vegetation is in aspiration of fact as soon as daughter related to effluence. So in LA that means affluent neighborhoods actually have twice the evapotranspiration of poorer neighborhoods. Meaning low income neighborhoods not and no one else miss out upon that greenery, but plus the natural, built in cooling effect of evapotranspiration. Greenhouse gases are not the single-handedly factor impacting Earth's climate, the sun as well as plays a major role, it's grown brighter on severity of era, offsetting most of the cooling related to dropping CO2 levels, and that fact has important implications for union up climate regulate, because even though we almost headed toward a world following CO2 levels later than what they were in the preoccupied geologic, it won't just be, as soon as rewinding the clock. So, because the sun is now brighter than it was 200 million years ago, or 400 million years ago, that radiative forcing from CO2 in the far afield ahead is going to be that much more potent. And that, we thought, was quite a sound declaration, that hadn't been noted facilitate on. The investigators analyzed the running activity of more than a million individuals worldwide who used an exercise tracking device for five years, and they used weather patterns as a strengthening to randomly consider different parts of that global network. If it happens to be a in fact nice daylight out, sunny and not too hot, not too distant, that will induce people to control more. Snanarl, a computational social scientist at MIT. If it's a rainy day and cold that will induce people to stand more in fable to average, and cities have every second weather patterns, he says. This natural experiment allowed them to ask, does a rainy daylight in New York conduct your self-supervision in San Diego? If the weather in New York causes changes in the running behavior in San Diego, it can in fact single-handedly be taking place through peer influences of the friends who live along in the middle of New York and San Diego. It's bad possible that mosquitoes suck our blood, and sometimes pass on disease. But there's more. They can actually come up taking into consideration the maintenance for you a disease and pee upon you at the same era. Adding neglect to slur if you will. Jared Denton, 
a pharmacologist at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. If you see occurring for any describe upon Google of a mosquito taking a blood meal you'll see a favorable slip of shapeless hanging out of the rear decline of the mosquito. That's actually the urine the mosquito has made from your blood. That pee production is necessary to the mosquito's survival because blood is salty, and as these mosquitoes synopsis the red blood cells to profit at the proteins and added nutrients hiding there, they closely potassium chloride which can cause depolarization of the membrane potential of excitable cells and induce excitotoxic death. Translation not pleasurable. So mosquitoes and added bloodsuckers have evolved a quick diuretic process to expel salt from their bodies, using kidney behind structures. Basically, though still sucking blood, they begin peeing. The World Health Organization estimates that roughly 100,000 people die from poisonous snake bites each year. Many more people become paralyzed or for all time disabled, and in poor, rural areas of Asia, Africa and South America, most deaths from snake bites go unreported. Most victims conscious too far away and wide from clinics that could match them when antivenom. In Nepal, where on summit of 10% of bite victims die. An experimental program uses volunteer motorcyclists to save residents. Since the program launched 2003, lonesome about 0.5% of victims who got a ride died. Researchers are also hard at do something developing greater than before tests to detect whether victims have been bitten by a poisonous snake and in some cases, even detect the species. Also in the region of the horizon are antivenoms that can neutralize toxins from also again one type of snake. Entire television channels broadcast the wonders of the natural world. To profit spectators and sell ads, they rely on lions hauling the length of zebras, aerial tracking shots of the cold grandeur of Antarctica or more prosaic film of a bear ambling through the woods. So should the media have the funds for nature conservation? That's the question four British scientists asked, seriously in a recent situation of the journal Science. Given the realization of channels taking into consideration Animal Planet, shows back Planet Earth and even films subsequently March of the Penguins, immense media makes big grant from nature. Do they then have an obligation to reinvest some of their profit on the nature that provided the ecosystem a bit of existing to be filmed? The researchers suggest setting up trusts that would maintain payments from media companies upon a per viewer or per DVD basis. The trust would as well as invest in preserving the natural world, though selecting honorable trustees might prove a challenge.